You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. We're next going to be talking all about uh, this year's Artists in the Woods Extra. Uh, firstly, thank you very much to both of you for coming along. and I'm hoping you could introduce yourselves and uh, then tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, I'm Nikki, uh, Nikki Baker, and um, I'm on like the steering group for Artists in the Wood and uh, for the Swale Arts Forum, sorry, and um, obviously for Artists in the Wood. And um, I'm an, a sort of Doctor Who artist, really. Most people know me as the Doctor Who lady. I have a Dalek and I paint normally when I haven't got a bad hand. I paint uh, pictures all to do with Doctor Who and um, I have monsters, we make monsters and uh, all that sort of thing. So, But we won't be taking them to the woods this year. I think we're going on a slightly medieval theme, but that's me anyway. Yeah, my name's Emma Foxley and I've been part of Swell Arts Room for just over a year and a half now. Um, and I've joined the steering group, so I help out with that. Um, and I also uh, run my own textile stuff on the side, so I print T-shirts and embroider them, and I'm also doing teaching at the moment as well. So, I was hoping you could tell our listeners actually what uh, Artists in the Woods uh, is. And I know this year it's been called Artists in the Woods Extra, so I was hoping you could explain uh, a bit about why, you, why you're calling it that as well. I think it's just because we, we wanted to bring a few extra things in. I don't, I don't think there was any particular thing that the extras were, but it, I think we just wanted to make make it slightly different, just put our own personal stamp on it, I think. That was all it was. Do you think? Would you agree? Or yeah, there... um, we have taken up um, an essence from the Magna Carta, which does run in conjunction, um, like uh, in partnership with... Um, Artists in the Woods, as that's it on in uh, Faversham Town Centre, and then um, we've got some medieval um, themed reenactments going on as well. Um, there'd be people dressing up yeah. in um, medieval outfits, and there'd be a few props and some reenactment people. And then we're hoping, we're hoping that there's going to be a bus service coming from uh, Faversham to Orwoods for the occasion. So um, we're hoping for that one. We're not sure if that's going to happen. But, yeah, I don't know. I think that was what it was, wasn't it? We just thought it, because it was linked up with the Magna Carta, it was just a little bit different and just a little bit more than, than it usually is. I hope next you could both let us know um, who runs the event. Well, the, the Swale Arts Forum run the event, but we are uh, supported by the Swale Borough Council and of course the Friends of War and um, always it's always been a really popular one with all the artists it's everybody seems to sort of come together for artists in the wood because everybody seems to really like it it's such a beautiful place and I think it's just you know everybody when you say oh we're doing artists in the wood they sort of say oh well great I was hoping it was going to be on this year and yes we'll help you and people seem to be very supportive of it so I know it's always a, a nice woods and uh, I often say it's a nice woods to people just to walk round so with all the artists there and the different things happening it's uh, well worth a visit it makes it worth visiting for um, for the day as well yes yeah, if you haven't even been to um, the All Gunpowder Works, it's it's a really magical place. Like it's n like it's hard to describe, really. But it just you go there and you're just in like wonder over the woods, um, just because it's, it's all so ruins, nice. Isn't it? It's yeah. all um, old ruins of the old gunpowder works, and you find little pieces of um, ruined buildings and bits of machinery hidden away all safely hidden away but it's all it just looks beautiful in amongst all the trees and the green and all the rivers and the water it is really really magical as you say yeah so uh, lots of artists and people do attend and get involved so if you're visiting uh, what will you actually be able to see 
There's going to be a lot to see this year. We've got um, some reenactment people, um, two lots of reenactment people actually. Um, one being medieval, I think the other one, I'm not sure if it's Napoleonic, it doesn't quite yeah. tie in with the medieval, but we thought it'd be good fun anyway. And I think they're going to be um, showing us some uh, ne ne Napoleonic um medical scenes or something like that and yeah. some firing of muskets something like that is going on we've got a a stilt walker we've got uh, going to have a dragon saf the magic dragon is going to be there which was built um in the f uh, forum shopping center with a lot of um children um which was wonderful it's, it's still been in the process yeah. of being built actually it needed so to be not, finished yeah it's not quite there yet, but we're hoping he's going to be ready in time. Um, we've got the Scouts. First, Merson and Batchard Scouts will be there. Um, they'll be making things and they'll have a little camp. Uh, there's going to be many artists. Um, there's uh, a couple of textile artists. There's um, Felted Forts, who um, needle felts, um, 3D figures. And figures. Um, there's Claire Jackson with um, hand designed fabric and fabric item on. I cushions. Yeah, cushions. <laughs> uh, there's face painter. There's going to be colour reading, steampunk jewellery. Um, there's a caricature workshop. Many workshops actually. Yeah, there's a lot of workshops. There's um, a long 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 green drawing that's happening um there's a uh, green man masks you can make um and uh you can also add printed leaves to a gust of wind installation so there's lots lots of exciting things you can get involved lots, with lots of uh, entertainment as well we've got lots of people singing Music with reeds, whale sings, even the narratones. We've got um, Harry Evans and George Baker um, playing. Uh, Tell Tyler is going to be there playing. Uh, there's Love Day Teas is going to be there doing lovely cakes and teas. Yep. The Patriotic Pig with a hog roast. We've got lots. I think there's lots. <laughs> I was going to say, I know one year, I assume you're doing that, is um, the sort of performers and musicians. You almost had little areas where they'd just suddenly That's turn right. up and start yeah. playing. Is that, that what you're doing this year? Yes, we've got... Um, how many areas have we got? There's, like, four stages this year where we're, like, performing areas. Um, each artist is generally going to try and um, go to each spot at different times of the day, so you'll generally get to hear everyone, I think if you're there for a couple of hours. Um. At the moment we're talking all about this year's um, Artists in the Woods Extra 2015 and you started to talk a little bit about workshops and uh, I was hoping you could tell the listeners a little bit more about that, how they, um, how they work and what actually the workshops are. Um, well, firstly, our, uh, the Swale Arts Forum are hosting a free workshop um, where you can... Uh, make green man masks um, so it's using the, the leaves from the woods and creating your own special mask um, there's other ones though yeah there's going to be quite a few free ones I think the uh, caricature workshop will be free uh, the one that you spoke about with the leaves um, the wind le the, the leaves attached to a wind, gust of wind it's like an installation yeah um which is going to be really exciting to see come to fruition so it's actually a piece of artwork being made it's on the day be made on the day yeah so that's really exciting but there's a lot there's a lot of workshops and majority of them are free there will be some that aren't free but majority of them are free and of course the the event is free so it's a really brilliant opportunity to, for people to come along and join in with all these things so um, if people are going along, I was hoping you could let us know exactly um, where Artists in the Woods takes place and, of course, when it is as well. Well, it's all Gunpowder Works, which is in Bising Wood Road, Faversham. I don't know if it's called... Is it the 
uh, country park, is it, or country park, or is it the gum, gunpowder gun works, works? Is the name I think, and it's on Sunday the fourteenth of June between ten and four, and as I say, it's a free event, so it's a brilliant day out. And uh, I assume there's parking there as as well if people turn up in their cars. There is parking. There's parking nearby in a few few areas nearby but also um, Sainsbury's are happy for people to park in their car park as long as they park away from the store apparently so it, as long as they park the, the other end of the car park as opposed to the store end but they're happy for people to park there beginning of the uh, interview mentioned about the Swale Arts Room. It's a little while since we've uh, spoke about it here at BRFM so I was hoping you could uh, tell our listeners a little bit about it the Swale Arts Forum is a community group for artists. Um, they help promote artists and generally give them an idea where they can take their art forward to promote at fairs. And we hold a lot of events such as like the Swale, um, the sci-fi event, which was on in Sittingbourne in May. Um, We've got um, quite a few different uh, projects sort of in coming up and um, workshops and things for artists to join in with and it's very inspiring for people to come along and, and just join in and forget themselves for a bit and it, it makes people feel they, they reattach themselves to their art so they, if they've lost it they often say that they come back in they, they join in with people and, and start joining in with making something, a lovely project, and, you know, they, they join back in, they find their art again. It's quite inspiring to see. So it's a good way of artists networking, networking and, and meeting. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think if you talk about it, if you talk to each other about things, it inspires you anyway. You've only got to sit in a room full of people talking about art in its many forms. You know, obviously it doesn't have to be... Um, one form of art, there's many forms and all of those um, subjects are very inspiring to sit and chat about so even the meetings that we have are very inspiring Yeah, like Nikki has been saying like uh, the Arts for- Swale Arts Forum is not just generally artists as such, it is performances um, it's musicians uh all different types of art because it's an umbrella as we see it for the arts so yeah so it's a good way of finding out what's happening in the arts world as well so you're not so isolated as an artist locally yeah uh, yeah definitely i think there's often you hear of people that sit at home and think they're the only people that in sitting bull that paint or draw or, or make things and then you know they, when they find out there's a whole group of us, it re, it's really a lovely feeling for them. I know it was for me when I first joined. Um, it, it really changed things for me, so I'm sure it does for everybody. Yeah, I think um, people come along and they sort of slowly sort of find their feet with us and realise what we're about. And then some people have joined recently and said that they feel that they're works now like they feel confident about their work like it's actually worth its time and um feel like it's actually it is up there and it can be as good as it is and they've like grown in confidence with their like art and want to sell it and um join in with the fairs and events which is just awesome and of course we have meetings um on the first tuesday of every month um you know, anyone's welcome to come along, of course. Um, it's not exclusive to um, Swale Arts Forum members because obviously we'd like everybody to, that's interested in joining to come along and see you know, what we're all chatting about because it's quite informal. Um, it's usually in the Avenue Theatre in Sittingbourne, but this um, is actually tomorrow night, isn't it? Yes, yeah, tomorrow at 7.30 at the Rose Street Cottage. It's... Um, in Sheerness. In Sheerness. So if you're about, come along. So how would you normally find out if there's a meeting? Do you um, put it on your Facebook page or do you sort of let members know? We generally have it on our website, which is on your website, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's on our, uh, on our link, yeah. 
Um, and we also put it on um, our group and Facebook, Facebook page. So. I was hoping you could just refresh our listeners exactly uh, where and when Artists in the Woods is on and uh, also go over all those useful contact details where our listeners can find out more. Yeah, Artists in the Woods Extra 2015 is on um, Sunday the 14th of June. It's at 10am start till 4pm and the event's free. Um, there's a Facebook page. Um, if you search for Artists in the Woods Extra 2000, well, 15, it should come up. Uh, yeah. There's a Facebook page, a, an event page, um, and also on our ordinary Swale Arts Forum, there should be information on there as well, on our Swale, Swale Arts Forum group page. Well, if you're happy we've covered everything, I'd like to thank you very much for coming along and let us know all about uh, Artists in the Woods and also the Swale Arts Forum as well. No, thank you very much for having us. Yeah. Thank you.